Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman and I've been getting very interested in Windows tablets and when I saw this little guy for 285 bucks on Amazon refurbished, as you can see from the big sticker, I figured I'd pick it up and give it a shot. This is a Lenovo K3 Lynx. It is a uh, running an Atom processor and it is running Windows 8, not the mobile version, but the actual Windows 8. So uh, this little tablet, which is pretty thin and pretty light, uh, is running Windows 8 software and it's been working really well. I got it specifically to run my video switcher, which has a, a pretty involved application application that runs on, on the Windows and Mac and I had a more limited one for the iPad but now I can actually use everything that I uh, want to use with it uh, just on my uh, little tablet here and this has really been a great use for it. Uh, so far the battery life has been excellent so I've been really impressed with that. It's been on for the last hour or so and I still uh, have about 85% of the battery la left in it which I was surprised about so that's been a good thing. Uh, weight wise it's pretty lightweight. Um, it is uh, very thin so it's about I think it's probably about the same width as, a, as an original iPad maybe a little bit less so um, not very thick and, and pretty easy to hold. Um, and it's great for this application, but you know, web browsing might be another story. So let's pop open that real quick and you can just see um, one of the problems I think you, you might have with it is that the, the screen width is really wide, but it's also very narrow. This is a 16 by 9 display. So you don't get a lot uh, when you're in the horizontal orientation. And when you switch it, let me just turn off the... Uh, the, the uh, switch lock here, where is it? There it is. Uh, when you when you uh, switch it, it you know you can get a lot more on the page, and, and it, but it's a lot narrower. So you're not you know you're gaining certainly a lot more uh, page length here, but you're not getting a lot more this way. Uh, the display is not one of those Retina displays, so it's not going to be as sharp as it might be on some other tablets out there, including other Windows tablets. But um, it is you know you can certainly zoom in like you would on an iPad or something or on an Android tablet and uh, be able to do that as well. So you might have to do a little bit more scrolling around just because of the, the narrow uh, width of the screen here, but um, beyond that it's not too bad. It's not very elegant in how it switches itself around, but uh, I think we can excuse that just because, at least for me, it's been there's some usefulness to uh, to, to having a full-blown Windows installation. Hardware-wise, it is uh, running um, an Atom processor, like I mentioned. It's got 64 gigs of storage on board. The only problem I have with it is a lack of input, and this is why. So on the bottom here is a USB port, and this is how you charge the device. So you have a standard micro USB cable. Uh, it goes to a uh, 5 volt 2 amp uh, charging uh, plug, which is actually what you'd see on most other tablets as well, which is great, you know, because it's you know 2.1 amps, it's a little bit more than the standard USB. However, when you're really taxing the device, even if it's plugged in, it will start drawing off the battery. So if you're doing video editing or you know photo editing or something that's really going to draw some some processing power, you might get a warning that says, "Hey, I'm 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 plugged in, but it's not good enough, and I need to pull some." power off the battery. And I had that happen when I was doing the, the big set of updates that I had to do when I bought it. So um, you know, just keep that in mind that you want to keep it fully charged. And even if you are plugged in, you might have a time where it starts drawing down the battery uh, because of of that power issue and it's uh, it's a bit of a problem especially if you think you're going to do more with this than just browse the web or you know use a uh, pretty uh, low end uh, or low powered uh, application like I'm using so that's something to keep in mind now if you want to plug a USB device into this thing uh, that port will then have to be used for that so uh, this is a cable that comes with it it's a micro USB to USB connector you just pop it in here and then you can plug in your USB device and uh, go to town. Now the problem is that once this is plugged in, you cannot charge the device at the same time. So if you want to use a hard drive, you're either going to have the hard drive plugged in or you're going to have the power plugged in. So uh, that's something to uh, just keep in mind that you're not going to have as much flexibility with this thing as you might with a laptop that would allow you to plug in uh, power and have USB capabilities at the same time. Now one thing you can do with this, and this is where the price tag begins to get added up on, is uh, you can get a keyboard dock that Lenovo makes specifically for this device uh, that locks into these little holes right here and what that does is it will uh, plug into the USB allow you to plug it into power but also give you an, another USB port or two uh, that you can also plug devices into uh, that USB keyboard also has a battery on board so it'll uh, charge up the tablet kind of act like a battery booster as well so that's kind of neat but it adds cost so you know this I bought for 285 I think the new one is in around the $300 territory that keyboard dock is like $160 extra so um, you know it's it starts to compound a little bit and for that matter this this thing kind of feels like half a PC because of that because you really don't have uh, you know, if it had a few more USB ports on it and the ability to keep power on there this thing would have been uh, a real winner but it's a, it's a little bit short of that so uh, that's the USB port on the side here you have volume control a, a speaker the stereo speakers are on the left and the right side so you actually get some 
uh, separation of sound, which is cool. Uh, you have a scroll lock or a, a rotation lock button here. So uh, if you hit that, it will uh, lock it in lock in whatever position the screen is currently on. Um, on the top, you have a memory card slot, and you can pop in a micro US uh, micro SD card uh, on the top there. So if you wanted to add a little bit more memory uh, without sacrificing a USB uh, port for that, you can. Uh, do that on there. And on this side, the other speaker and a micro HDMI port and a headphone jack. So that is uh, pretty much the gamut of what you can do with it. Um, so overall, I think it's pretty good. I, I think it you know, would be nice for more input output options. Um, the build quality is you know, kind of plasticky, uh, but you know, it doesn't really feel cheap. So I think that's good. The screen is decent for uh, what it is. And you know, really, I didn't have a lot of expectations coming into it, and it's, uh, it's been pretty useful. So um, I'm happy with it, and I'm very happy with it because I got it for, you know, again, the very specific use. And you might want to think about that uh, when you start looking at some of these Windows 8 tablets. If I get any others, I will certainly review them. Uh, but I think uh, this one is uh, going to be on this desk for quite a while now. So I'm um, looking forward to using it a little bit more. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. <music>